Hey, welcome to my channel, Cook It With Manual Focus, and today I'm going to show you how to make some absolutely delicious St. Louis style ribs. Now, these ribs, we're going to do them in under two and a half hours. I'm going to show you how to make the whole rack of St. Louis ribs delicious. We're going to keep that membrane on it, and we're going to focus on these ribs. So let's go down to the ingredients. Now, Focus fam, this is what we have here. We got our absolutely fantastic looking spare rib. Now, this is, you know, pretty much still, it's not all the way frozen, but it's cold. So this is gonna make it easy to cut off some of this excess fat. So I got my filet knife and what we are gonna do, like I said, these are pretty cold. We just gonna take off that excess fat, right? And on this cook, we gonna cook this rib you know, bone side down, we're not gonna flip it. So all of this fat, you know, a lot of it may not render down in the cooking process, but we still gonna leave just a little bit on there because you know, fat is flavor. We don't want too much fat on there. We just want enough. All right, fam, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find that last bone. We're gonna square this off, right? So this is the last bone. And then we're just gonna take our knife, make a nice little cut. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this piece right here for another rest. We're gonna take this rack and then we just gonna, you know, kind of square it up just a little bit. And just like that, take that off. Now that's nice. I'm gonna remove this back piece and we're gonna save this again for another recipe. And we're gonna square these ribs up. I'm gonna show you my little gadget that I love because I don't waste nothing in the kitchen, right? You gotta have your vacuum sealer. And I leave this vacuum sealer as the first comment pinned on this video. We gonna get this vacuum sealed. And there you have it fam, vacuum seal. All you gotta do now, place that in the freezer and you in game. Now, since we're on the back side of it, you see this right here, that flap. You wanna go ahead and remove this flap. And usually I will remove this along with the other meat, but I'ma cook this on the smoker cause I'ma let this be, you know, one of those little snack sessions for me. So we are gonna take that fat off and we are gonna throw this on the smoker. We are gonna season that up. That's gonna be a delicious snack. Now we're about to season up these ribs and this is what I have. I got me some pepper. You know, you can't go wrong with pepper. And then I got me some Killer Hall's barbecue rub. Now, you can go with whatever barbecue rub that you like. This your kitchen again. This show smoker, your grill. Now what we gonna do is we gonna get that black pepper on first. And then we gonna hit it with that Killer Hogs. And then you see all these sides right here. Sides are a little bit bare. You wanna go and hit those sides. Now let's address this membrane. We're gonna leave this membrane on here. And I'm gonna show you how to cook it. And this membrane will become an absolutely delicious part of your rib. So we're gonna leave this on here and then we're gonna season it because this is also gonna be part of your bite of your rib. We're gonna hit it with that backside, with that barbecue rub. And like I said, I'm not gonna slather it on because I want that smoke to penetrate you know, these ribs. Now, we're gonna let these ribs chill out for a minute. We're gonna let this rub sweat and we're gonna be on the game. So we're gonna go ahead and heat up our smoker. We're going 300 degrees a day and we're gonna be using a smoke tube because once we hit that 300, about that 300 to 350 range, it's gonna be burning clean. So we want some smoke flavor and that pellet tube is gonna do the trick. Now that is optional. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. All right, fam, so we outside got that smoker at 300 degrees. Like, Look at these ribs, we let these ribs sit and they done sweated a little bit. Look at that right there. That looks absolutely fantastic. You got some clean smoke rolling from that smoke tube right there. And I got mine situated at front because my exhaust goes in the back, so it's gonna roll over those ribs and we gonna be in the game. So now, what 
we gonna do, so we're gonna place our rack right here, just like so. And then always remember, as you lay your ribs, that's how they gonna cook and that's how they gonna come out, right? And then you can't forget about that little snack, right? So we're gonna sit that right here and we're gonna let that cook. Now we're gonna close this, you looking, you ain't cooking. We're gonna come back in about 25 minutes been 25 minutes so let's take a look at these ribs. all right so you see got a little pool in here we ain't worried about that we just want to keep these moist so what we're going to do like i said we're going to hit this with a, a little spritz and this is apple cider vinegar i just want to keep these bad boys moist and we're going to be in the game fam so we're not going to flip these ribs and that's going to be the key to getting that membrane to be an absolutely delicious addition to them spare ribs so after we let that cook for that additional 25 minutes come look at it see if we need to spritz it again then we're gonna let that roll until the last 45 minutes and then that's when we're gonna sauce those ribs and let them ride out for the rest of the way and we're in the game fam hey fam so we got 25 minutes down in the books right so we're gonna go ahead and look at this look at that right there Nice little color going on. Like I said, the pooling we ain't gonna worry about. We just wanna keep this moist. So we gonna hit it with the apple cider vinegar again. Man fam, our little stone is ready to go. So fam, we're gonna let this cook for about 35 more minutes and then we're gonna sauce it up and let it finish for 45 and we're in the game. Looks good, got a nice little color to it while those ribs continue to smoke. that right there fam now that right there that's good fam all right fam 35 minutes is up let's look at these ribs because we got to get them sauce for the last 45 all right fam it's been 40 five minutes so those ribs are under two and a half hours let's take a look at them here they come so we got to test the flex on these ribs and look at that nice little flex so we know these bad boys are done we're gonna let these bad boys rest in the house now it's time to cut into them no we got to turn this on the back side because we didn't take that membrane off and i want you to see how that membrane looks now that is gonna be a nice flavorful bite. All right, family, there you have it. You got your absolutely delicious St. Louis style ribs in under two and a half hours. Look at that right there. And that's that look absolutely delicious fam and you already know what we got to do we got to get this bad boy taste test hey cheers mm. now that's good right there look at that clean bite you already know it's cooked right and i'm going in for another bite of this mm. now that's good fam that membrane, nice, crispy, it's all in one. Great bite. You in the game. Mm. Now, if you like this content and you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that like button. And then don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Hit that bell so you know when I release my content. Now, for my focus film that's been rolling me for a while. You already know what I got to do. I got to smash into these ribs. And we'll see you guys on the next recipe. 